nearly knocked myself out live on TV. So embarrassing. Hi, I'm Denise Van Outen, and I'm going to be playing a little game of Have You Ever for Fabulous Magazine. Massive yes. So in the 90s, uh, we all had really tiny, tiny, thin eyebrows, and it took me ages to grow them back. And in fact, some of the hairs never came back, so I had to have my eyebrows microbladed. So that was a big fashion faux pas. I mean, it looked ridiculous. Yes, I have. When I started on The Big Breakfast, I was actually the weather girl. And I used to travel around the UK by helicopter. And once I was doing a live report and I wasn't looking where I was going and I was running and I was talking on a microphone and I ran into the helicopter, nearly knocked myself out live on TV. So embarrassing. Yes, <laughs> I seem to have a lot of yeses. I did a home perm when I was a teenager because my mum wouldn't let me have a perm. So I decided to take the matter into my own hands and I snuck into the bathroom and permed my own hair and it just went really, really frizzy and I literally had to wear a hat for about two months. Embarrassing. Yes, I have. And in my own defence, it was when I was writing my autobiography and I really needed to know like the dates of jobs that I'd done in the past, dates I'd dated certain boyfriends. <laughs> so yeah, I've had to Google myself for work purposes. Do you know what? Not really, no. Thing is, most of the first dates I've gone on, I've quite enjoyed. There's normally wine involved. No, it's one thing I never ever do, because to be honest with you, people buy me things and I sometimes forget who sent me the present or given it to me, I've got such a terrible memory. So I would hate to re-gift and then realise I'm re-gifting to the person that bought me the present the first time round. So no, I'd never do that. Yes! One of my very, very first interviews that I ever did was for a Saturday morning kids programme called Massive and it was on ITV and I must have been about 18 years old and I had to go and interview Lenny Kravitz and I was the biggest Lenny Kravitz fan and when I sat down to speak to him, my mouth went dry, I couldn't think of my questions and I just sat there staring at him like this. I really embarrassed myself. He is hot, very hot in the flesh. Oh, my ultimate crush. Yes, I had someone who used to send me throwaway cameras, that's how old I am, and asked me to take pictures of myself just doing daily things wasn't anything that exciting. And I was just like, why? And of course now, many years have passed and that's what we all do in social media. So he was ahead of his time. I'm having a double yes, because someone actually asked if they could run the whole London Marathon with me on their shoulders for charity. So I thought, can you imagine 26 miles of me, a big old lump on someone's shoulders? I said, no, obviously. Even though I do support charities, that was a bit of a stretch too far.